In this video, we're going to discuss how to sum values in Airtable. This is Max Bernstein with Industry Automations. We make custom Airtable databases for the music industry. Let's dive right in. Here's a spreadsheet of the release calendar for this coming week. And then there's a line item in here for marketing budget. Of course, everybody knows how to sum up these values, right? But what if you were doing this in Airtable? How would you then sum up the marketing budget for all the releases happening this coming week? Here's how. First, let's go into our record label base where we have the releases table accompanying the reporting table. As you can see, all of these releases are linked to week 17. I'll show that to you. Right, week 17. Let's open up another field for, uh, call it marketing budget. We'll call it a currency field. And let's take those values from the spreadsheet and we'll put them right in. Command C, come over here, Command B. Of course, there you go. You see the sum shows up in a little dialog box, but we want to be able to use that value in our reporting and our calculations, etc. Here's how to do it. Go back to the reporting table, open up a new field, call it marketing budget, type roll up, and let's roll up that marketing budget field. In this case, we're not going to include any conditions. We'll come back and explain that part in a second. Then we want to say sum the values and hit create field. And there you go. Week 17, the sum of all marketing budget values is the same as in the spreadsheet. Now the power of this is let's just say you have a bunch of these releases, but only some of them are scheduled. Some of them are tentative. I'm going to uh, release the filter that keeps those tentative ones off the screen. So now we have some of these as scheduled and some of these as tentative. We certainly don't really care about the ones that are tentative. If they're not actually coming out, then we don't need to report on the total value of that marketing spend because chances are it's not actually going to be spent. So we can go back to the reporting table into our rollup field and we can add a condition. The condition is where status is scheduled. Boom. Now that number gets reduced to 265.050. That would be way more difficult to do in your original spreadsheet model, which is just one of the powerful uses or powerful reasons why we're recommending people migrate from spreadsheet models to database models using Airtable. That's it for the video. See you in the next one.